Do you guys remember in my four years on T video that I posted at the beginning of the year, how I talked about being pretty bummed out because I hadn't worked out in like a month? Well, now it's the end of September and I still haven't been back in the gym. Now I've tried to get back into the swing of things. I just haven't been able to stay consistent for more than a week at a time. And now I've been out of the gym longer than I have since before I started working out. And it's really taking a toll on me now. I noticed that my dysphoria was getting pretty bad over the last few weeks, but after I shaved my beard, it really pushed me over the edge. And for the first time since, I, I mean in years, I look in the mirror and I see features that I don't, I don't, that I don't associate with, with my body. And it's, it sucks. I weighed myself two days ago and I was 138. This time last year when I was at the peak of my bulk, I was in the 170s. I feel like my hips look so wide, my arms look so small. Even this shirt now, when I first got it like two months ago, I filled out the arms. And I'm not just trying to complain endlessly or like bitch. I'm talking about this for a, a reason. It's important to me to let you guys know that I, I haven't been okay. It's been affecting me in a lot of like real ways. The last two days I haven't even gotten out of bed. This is my first time leaving the house and I'm currently in the parking lot of my gym because I, I want to change it and I want to get back in and I'm going to do it. And I know that losing gym progress isn't the end of the world, but when I'm binding my chest for the first time in years this far into my transition, it's, it's a lot more than just, you know, feeling like my muscles aren't big enough. I'm sharing this stuff with you because I'm going to do something about it. That's what this is. I'm going to get my ass in the gym and I'm going to change it. So I'm about to go in there now. I know that was really dramatic and I'm not showing my face in this vlog because I don't want to spoil the um, beardless reveal. I'm also not going to take my camera inside because I've been told before not to film here. And on top of that, I'm already really self-conscious right now. Um, and I just don't want to bring any more attention to myself. But um, I'll take some pictures on my phone and I'll let you know how it goes. Gym went well. I just got a gas station sandwich and oh my god you guys, I was just looking over the uh, meat selection and the roast beef was literally green. Like patches of, of actual green beef. So yeah, I got a gas station sandwich, excited about that. Gym went really well. I'm feeling good, and by good, I mean on the verge of vomiting. So I think, you know, I, I pushed myself well enough. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did that. And um, I think I'm really gonna stick with it now. A couple of bed bugs. You wanna go for a walk? Oh, Nani, come on. All right, everyone, welcome to my Draw My Life psych. I'm telling you about the series that I have been working on since July called YouTuber Life. All right, and this is coming to my channel October 3rd, and there will be new episodes up every Wednesday with the finale premiering on Halloween. And in this series, you'll actually get to see my shaven face reveal no beard amongst a lot of other things, all right? This thing is wild. It is unlike anything that I've ever done or anything that I've ever seen. And it's gonna seem pretty strange, but I just hope you can give it the benefit of the doubt and go ahead and watch it and uh, see what you think. Either way, I'm extremely excited to put this up. Super stoked for you guys to see it. I can't really say much more on it other than it is weird. So get ready. And yeah, that's about it. So I will leave you now with this lizard playing a ukulele. Thanks.